Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to go through my top five jackets that I'm looking forward to trying or even buying in 2022. So let's get right into it. Right, jacket number one, it's from the Flathead. It's a leather jacket. It's their horsehide single rider's jacket in black. Now I know what you're saying. I do have a leather jacket. I've got a real McCoy's A2 leather jacket, but that is a military jacket. So it's got uh, the pockets on the outside. It's more a military feel to it. This is a motorcycle jacket uh, and it's a more slim silhouette. And it, in my opinion, it just, it just blends in uh, with your everyday clothes a bit better than the military style jacket. So the military style jackets, uh, I find with the, the Real McCoy's A2, I have to think about what I'm gonna wear, where I'm going, etc., etc. and people notice, oh, that's a big jacket, or blah, blah, blah. This looks like just any old other jacket that you can blend in with. So I have tried it on. I went to uh, Riveted High and tried it on. It's beautiful. Uh, it's super thick, 1.3 millimeters of horsehide leather. It's from the uh, Shinki Tannery in Japan where the Real McCoy's get their, their leather as well. So it's the same, uh, comes from the same tannery as Real McCoy's use. Uh, it is just absolutely beautiful. Only problem with it though, it's 1,895 pounds. So that is a lot of money. That's over $2,000. Yeah, nearly $3,000. Anyway, that is top of my list. I would love this jacket. So stay tuned, 2022, we'll see. Right, jacket number two is a type three jacket from Tanuki. I don't know why I've never featured Tanuki on this channel. They get really, really great reviews online. So hoping to bring some Tanuki to the channel next year. But if I do, I'm hoping it's this one. Uh, it's their black type three jacket. It's the BK JKT3. It's a 15 and a half ounce, so it's kind of mid to heavyweight type three jacket with hand warmer pockets in, in black. And it just looks, it just looks really, really good. Uh, it is, uh, it's, it's a really deep black. They use a mixture of Texas and Supima cotton. So Supima cotton is, is really uh, soft, it's a long staple cotton. So it's gonna be very durable, but it's also gonna be very soft because it's a mixture of Texas. Uh, I've got contrasting stitches uh, and it's just the quality that you would know uh, and come to love from Tanuki. So fingers crossed 2022 can get my hands on something from Tanuki. Right, so the next one, number three is from Dian1920. I don't know if it's Dian or Dian, but I've been looking at these guys for quite a while since uh, Riven and Hyde started stocking them. I originally wanted to go for their wool varsity jacket. Uh, I quite like a varsity jacket, uh, but nothing out there. So no, no white leather sleeves or, you know, no really contrasting colors. I was really interested in their black, black. So black leather and black wool or black leather and navy wool uh, varsity jacket. When you pick that jacket up, it's a heavy jacket. It's expensive as well, it's 600 pounds. So I think that's maybe like 750 US or something like that. But when you pick it up, you realize why. It's a very heavy jacket, really thick wool as well. If I wasn't gonna go with that, I would probably go this one here, which is their Flyers Club jacket. Now they do various iterations of that and they always release different versions. Even Rivet and Hyde have this one here, which is like their collaboration, uh, which is it's quite nice. And it looks um, quite hefty. Uh, and I thought it would be quite heavy because it was made of Pendleton uh, wool, uh, which is quite durable and really densely packed wool. So I thought it'd be quite heavy, but actually it's really light. And I don't know, I didn't buy it obviously. I didn't make the, make the purchase there, but I didn't know if that's what I wanted, I, I kind of like a substantial heavy uh, coat. So the jury is still out on the Flyers Club jacket, but the, the wool varsity jacket is, is definitely really, really good. So 2022, maybe get some D in 1920. Right next up is from a Scottish company called Aero Leathers. Now, if you haven't heard of them, they do a lot of reproduction of military World War II items. If you check their website, you can have a look. They have pretty much every leather, uh, jacket contracts from the war you can ever think of. So uh, they come really highly recommended. They do every kind of jacket you can think of, but not just military, but they just do normal jackets as well. They also do different kinds of denim, footwear, uh, pants, trousers, all from the war, all reproductions, but they also do knits as well. So I was looking to get something from these guys in 2022. I was eyeing up their US Air Force type B10 flight jacket. So it kind of 
looks like an A2. Obviously, it's not. Uh, it's not leather. It's got the alpaca uh, collar on as well, and it's got your pockets on the side. And it just looks like a nice throw-on jacket that would be quite warm that isn't leather. So looking to 2022, potentially getting this, potentially not, potentially getting uh, some kind of jacket from these guys. Whatever it is, I do want to just check out Aero Leathers. Right, that brings me to the last one on the list. This is jacket number five, and it is a type three jacket that is coming out in 2022, I hope, from Michael from the Iron Snail. So this is Michael's own jacket that he's been producing uh, with the guys at Naked and Famous. Now there's a reason, there's a couple reasons why I'm interested in this jacket. One is I've never tried, touched, held, seen anything from the Naked and Famous. Uh, it's primarily, I think, a US brand, and I'm sure I can buy it over there and get it sent over, but uh, I've never, found anywhere in the UK or, or, or whatever that retails it that I can go and have a look. So I've heard some amazing things about Naked and Famous. But number two is I wanna support people in this industry and Michael is doing a fantastic job. He's got a fantastic uh, channel, The Iron Snail, puts out great videos and great stories. Uh, and it's just a really, really good thing that someone in the industry is, is putting something like this together. Uh, so I think we should all get out there and support him. I'm definitely gonna be buying one of the jackets when they become available. Uh, and just, yeah, look forward to, to trying it on. I've uh, been watching it along from inception to where he is now, and it just looks like some journey. So that's gonna be a really, really cool thing in 2022, and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, so that is it. Right, guys, that's gonna be it. That's the top five jackets that I'm looking forward to next year, 2022. Uh, I could have made that list a lot longer, if I'm honest. I could go for days with jackets that really excite me, but those are the top five. Fingers crossed I can get my hands on any of them, a couple of them, who knows, maybe all of them. But I did, and I do hope you did enjoy that. Uh, if you did, drop a comment down below, give me a thumbs up, and again, like I said before, hit that red subscribe button because it really helps me out, it helps me bring content like this to you guys in the future. And with all that being said, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.